Nothing changes. There's two bishops, but nothing will change. Uh, not yet. Not really, no. If you, you're welcome to, if you'd like, but uh, I don't. I don't know what he has, has not discussed. But I'm no. Sure he expects to. Okay, uh, that's totally up to you. Okay. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be quite happy to. Good, uh, Ben. Show Nestor where things are. Right. Just follow Ben. Investments. Who he's going to serve. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, creating an undivided trinity always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and to people on earth, earth peace, peace and, and good goodwill. Will. Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. O oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. How many are my foes, O oh Lord? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying about me, there is no help for him in God? But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory who lift up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord. He answers from his holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake for the Lord upholds me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. Arise, Lord, save me, my God. You who strike all my foes on the mouth, you who break the teeth of the wicked. O Lord of salvation, bless your people. I lie down to rest and I sleep. 
I wake, for the Lord upholds me. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now and ever and forever. And forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory, Glory to you, God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace, Lord, high, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for our God-loving Bishop Neil, for the venerable presbyter at the diaconate in Christ and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive and for their salvation, and for the faithful of Ukraine, that the Lord our God may quickly confound every diabolical plot conceived against them and turn back their enemies in shame and confusion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They encircled me, compassed me about, in the Lord's name I crushed them. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I shall not die but live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O faithful, let us praise and adore the Word eternal with the Father and the Spirit 
and born of the Virgin for our salvation. For he chose to ascend the cross in the flesh and to suffer death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Rejoice, virgin, impassable gateway of the Lord. Rejoice, protective wall of those who take refuge in you. Rejoice, peaceful haven, untroubled by storms. Rejoice, O virgin who have not known wedlock and yet have given birth in the flesh to your Creator and God. O Theotokos, never cease to intercede for all those who praise and worship your Son. <clears throat> Let us praise the honored cross of the Lord. Let us venerate his holy burial with hymns. Let us glorify his holy resurrection. For he raised the dead from the graves because he is God. He despoiled the might of death and broke the power of Satan. And he shed light on those who are in Hades. Arise, O Lord, lift up your hand. O God, do not forget the poor. You were counted among the dead, O Lord, even though you put to death the prince of death. You were placed in a grave, although you emptied the graves on earth. The soldiers guarded the tomb, but below you raised the dead who from all eternity had fallen asleep. Therefore, O Lord, the Almighty and Incomprehensible One, glory to you, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Rejoice, O holy mountain, which the Lord ascended. Rejoice, O living bush, unconsumed by the fire. Rejoice, only bridge leaching from the world to God and leading the dead to eternal life. Rejoice, O pure one, free of corruption. You gave birth without the aid of man to the Savior of the world. Praise the name of the Lord, alleluia. Praise him, servants of the Lord, servants of the Lord, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. <coughs> <coughs>
Nestor. Please light the other two candles. <clears throat> the minds of the myrrh-bearing women were dazzled by the angelic vision, and their souls were illumined by the divine resurrection. Therefore they spoke to the apostles, saying, Declare to the nations the resurrection of the Lord, who works his wonders with us and bestows on us great mercy. Let us be attentive. Peace be with all. Wisdom be attentive. Arise then, Lord, my God, lift up your hand. The Lord is King forever and ever. Forever. The Lord is King forever. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will recount all your wonders. Arise then, Lord, my God, lift up your hand. The Lord is King forever and ever. Forever. The Lord is King forever. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For you are holy, our God, and you dwell in the holy, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. To the Lord, give praise to the Lord. Praise God in his holy place, praise him in his mighty heavens. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. To the Lord, give praise to the Lord. That we be deemed worthy of hearing the Holy Gospel in peace, let us pray to the Lord our God. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And to your spirit, to your spirit, wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus appeared to the disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had eaten their meal, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. At which Jesus said, feed my lambs. A second time, Jesus asked the question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus replied, tend my sheep. A third time, Jesus asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus had asked a third time, do you love me? So Peter said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know well that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. I solemnly assure you, as a young man, you fastened your belt and went about as you pleased. But when you are older, you will stretch out your hands, and another will tie you fast and carry you off against your will. What Jesus said indicated the sort of death by which Peter was to glorify God. When Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Peter, Follow me. 
Peter turned around at that and noticed that the disciple whom Jesus loved was following the one who had leaned on Jesus' chest during the supper and said, Lord, which one will hand you over? Seeing that disciple, Peter was prompted to ask Jesus, but Lord, what about him? Jesus replied, suppose I want him to come until I stay. Suppose I want him to stay until I come. How does that concern you? Your business is to follow me. This is how the report spread among the brothers that this disciple was not going to die. Jesus never told him, in fact, that the disciple was not going to die. All he said was, suppose I want him to stay until I come. How does that concern you? It is this same disciple who is the witness to these things. It is he who wrote them down in his testimony we know is true. There are still many other things that Jesus did, yet if they were written about in detail, I doubt there would be room enough in the entire world to hold the books, to hold them. Glory to you. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Resurrection of Christ, let us bow to the Holy Lord Jesus, who alone is sinless. We bow to your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you alone are our God. We know no other. We call you by name. Come all you faithful. Here's the changeables. Resurrection of Christ. Oh, 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 I need that back. I'd have the I'd have the wrong one here. I'm sorry. We're good. We're good. Blessing the Lord. Let us praise His resurrection by enduring the cross for us. He destroyed death by death. and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. In the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash, shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may thrill. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed. Then you will be offered young bulls on. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Through the prayers of the holy apostles, O merciful one, cleanse us of our many sins, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O merciful one, Cleanse us of our many sins. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Jesus is risen from the tomb, as he foretold, and granted us everlasting life and great mercy. Christ, who put a stop to wars, has stretched out his hands and hurled horse and rider into the Red Sea, but he saved Israel, who began to sing the hymn of victory. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Bearing thorns, the assembly of the people crowned you, O Christ. They renounced all maternal love toward you, the benefactor who delivered the leader of the human race from the thorn of punishment. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. To raise me who had fallen, O giver of life, you leaned into the abyss without falling into it, enduring my loathsome corruption without being affected by it. You anointed me with the myrrh of your divinity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. The curse has been wiped out, and sadness has disappeared, for the all-blessed one who is full of grace has made joy sprout forth for the faithful, when she gave Christ her flower as a blessing to all the ends of the earth. I will open my mouth, it will be filled by the Holy Spirit, and I will offer my praise to the Queen Mother, I will celebrate in joy, in my rejoicing, I will sing of these wonders. <clears throat> o Savior, you descended into Hades, you crushed the gates as the Almighty, you raised the dead and destroyed the sting of death as the Creator. You delivered Adam from the curse, O lover of mankind. Therefore all cry out to you, O Lord, save us. Having heard the words of the angel, the women were seized with joy and ceased their dirges, and with trembling they contemplated the resurrection. And behold, Christ approached them and said, Take courage, rejoice, for I have conquered the world and saved the captives. Hasten and announce to the disciples that I go before them into Galilee for the news which they must proclaim. Therefore all cry out to you, O Lord, Save us. Rejoice, I say. Rejoice, O I say. Up. The virgin was with child and bore a son, Emmanuel. He is God and man, Orient is his name, by extolling him, we also praise the Virgin. Glory 
to your holy resurrection, O Lord. O Christ, our Master, you have completely taken upon yourself our fallen nature and united it to yourself in the womb of the Virgin. As the only one free from sin, you deliver us completely from corruption by your holy passion. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. O Christ, our Master, by the stream of your divine blood flowing from your life-giving and immaculate side, the sacrifices to false gods have ceased, and together with all the earth, we offer a sacrifice of praise to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. It is not a God without a body, nor simply a human person that the pure and sinless Virgin has brought into the world, but he is indeed truly God and truly man, and we extol him with the Father and the Holy Spirit. May every child of the earth exult in spirit and hold aloft the burning lamp and may the angels in heaven praise with joy the holy feast of the Mother of God and sing. Rejoice, O Theotokos, ever blessed and ever virgin. Would you go out and get Bishop Neil and bring him into vest, please? Sviatos <clears throat> Podbochnash. Holy is the Lord our God, holy is the Lord our God, the <coughs> Lord our God, holy is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God, bow before his footstool, for he is holy. Holy is the Lord our God, holy is the Lord our God, the Lord our God, holy is the Lord our God. After his resurrection, the Lord asked Peter three times, Do you love me? Then the Lord set Peter as a shepherd over his sheep. When Peter saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following him, he asked the Lord, What about him? And the Lord said, If I want him, to wait until I come again, what is that to you, O Peter, my beloved? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. What an awesome mystery, what a dazzling wonder. Death has been abolished completely by death. O word, who will not then praise, and who will not glorify your resurrection? Who will not praise the Theotokos who gave birth to you in the flesh and in purity? Therefore, by her prayers, save us all from Hades. Let everything Let that lives and that, that breathes give praise, praise to the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. To you is due Him, O God. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. To you is due Him, O God. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, shining stars. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made. <coughs> Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures, and all oceans. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers. Children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond the earth. 
He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints. Of the children of Israel, of the people to whom mm -hmm. he comes close. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor mm, with salvation. salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their <coughs> rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hands. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Praise, Praise God. God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. O oh, Lord, the women ran to your tomb to see you, O Christ, who suffered the passion for our sake. And drawing near, they found an angel seated on the stone, which he had rolled away with fear. He cried out to them, saying, The Lord is risen. Tell the disciples that the Savior of our souls is risen from the dead. Oh, praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with lute and harp. Oh, Lord, just as you emerged from the grave despite its seals, so you entered where your disciples were, although the doors were locked, showing them on your body the signs of your passion, which you had accepted, O long-suffering Savior. As son of David, you endured wounds, but as son of God, you freed the world. Great is your mercy, incomprehensible Savior, have mercy on us. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and pipes. O Lord, the King of ages and creator of all, who accepted crucifixion and burial in the body for our sakes to deliver us all from Hades. For you are God, and beside you we know no other. Oh, praise him with resounding <coughs> cymbals, praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. O Lord God, who shall proclaim your dazzling wonders, or who shall declare your divine mysteries, for you were willingly incarnate for our sakes, manifesting the might of your power. By your cross you opened paradise to the thief, by your death was the bars, the bolts of Hades, and by your resurrection you enrich all creation. Therefore, O oh, compassionate one, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When, when you showed, you showed yourself, yourself to the disciples, after your resurrection, O Savior, you appointed Simon to watch over your sheep as a recompense for his love. You asked him to tend the flock with care, 
You said to him, if you love me, O Peter, feed my lambs and feed my sheep. But at once he inquired concerning the other disciple, revealing him to be the beloved. Therefore, by the intercession of both, O Christ, keep your flock from the ravaging wills, now and ever and forever. Amen. You are truly most blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, through the one who was incarnate of you. Hades was chained, Adam revived, the curse wiped out. Eve set free, death put to death, and we ourselves were brought back to life. That is why we cry out in praise. Blessed are you, O Christ our God, who finds in this your good pleasure, glory to you. If you don't have a Matins book, please pick up a green book, turn to page 457, and join us for the great doxology. Glory to you who have shown us the light. Glory to God in the highest and to people on earth, peace and good will. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you. We thank you for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, Father Almighty, Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, hear our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord, be the Christ, to the glory of God the Father. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. Make us worthy, O Lord, to be kept sinless this morning. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praiseworthy in glory. Amen. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, who have placed our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Peace be your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master. Make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, and lighten me with your commandments. For, Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. In you is the source of life, 
and in your life we see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Sviatl Bolshe, Sviatl Kripke, Sviatl Besmerne, Pomiluj nas, Santo Dios, Santo Fuerte, Santo Inmortal, Ten piedad de nosotros. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Today salvation has come to the world. Let us sing to him who is risen from the tomb, the author of life, who has crushed death by his death, and bestowed on us victory and a great mercy. <coughs> Today our cathedral parish is honored to welcome his grace, Bishop Neil of Mukachevo, the mother see of all the Ruthenian Greek Catholic churches around the world. Changeables for this divine liturgy are page 146. O oh, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who are everywhere present, and fill all things, treasure of blessings, and giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, our gracious Glory to God in the highest, to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, to people on earth, peace and goodwill. O oh, Lord, open my lips, my mouth will declare your praise. <clears throat> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For peace, Lord High, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our holy father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for our God-loving Bishop Neil, for the venerable presbyter at the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city, for every city and community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, and for the faithful of Ukraine, that the Lord our God may quickly confound every diabolical plot conceived against them, and turn back their enemies in shame and confusion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master. Show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shall joyfully to the Lord all the Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who be immortal, deign for our salvation to be called of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were all so crucified, O Christ our God, and by death And the Holy Spirit said, Come, let us sing joyfully to the, Holy, yes. the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. O oh, faithful, let us praise and adore the oh, word eternal with, with the, the Father, Father and the Spirit and the Lord of the Virgin for our salvation. For he chose to ascend the cross in the flesh and to suffer death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. O oh, Savior, 
you descended into Hades, you crushed its gates as the Almighty, you raised the dead and destroyed the sting of death as the Creator, you delivered Adam from the crash. O lover of us all, therefore all cry out to you, O Lord, save us. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and Let us be attentive. Peace be with all. Peace be attentive. You, O Lord, will keep, keep us, us and preserve and us forever. Forever. From, from this generation. Save me, O Lord, for the righteous have vanished. You, O Lord, will, will keep, keep us, us and, and preserve, preserve us. us the epistle of St. Paul to the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, see I write to you in my own large handwriting. Those who are trying to force you to be circumcised are making a play for human approval with an eye to escaping persecution for the cross of Christ. The very ones who accept circumcision do not follow the law themselves. They want you to be circumcised, only that they may boast about your bodily observances. May I never boast of anything but the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through it, the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. It means nothing whether one is circumcised or not. All that matters is that one is created anew Peace and mercy on all who follow this rule of life and on the Israel of God. Henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear the brand marks of Jesus in my body. Brethren, may the favor of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I shall sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all generations my mouth will proclaim your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
For you have said, mercy is built to last forever. Your truth is firmly established in heaven. Alleluia. 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 Wisdom. <clears throat> Let us stand and listen to a reading from the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And to your spirit. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. tradurre da ucraino se lei vuole parlare in italiano traduzco io va bene va bene allora glory to Jesus Christ glory forever slava Isusu Christu slava la vico <coughs> sometimes it's a little overwhelming to preach because you have so much exciting stuff to talk about one of St. Paul's most exciting and passionate passages in his, all of his writings. And then, of course, this really exciting story, huh, with armies of demons and pigs and all kinds of stuff going on, huh? But uh, St. Paul, this is the very end of his passionate letter to the Galatians. I remember reading his last epistle to the Corinthians is his most personal letter, and I had trouble understanding that for a long time. I think I do now, because Galatians is so personal and passionate. And what is he so passionate about? Well, these Galatians were a community in what would now be North Turkey. Whether they were really descendants from the Celts, or we say Gaelic in English sometimes, or that was just the name the Romans gave to the region, we don't know. We know it was named that because Celts did move there, but the Romans named this whole region that. So it's kind of like if you write a letter to the Missourians, you know, it's people that happen to live in Missouri, they might have just moved there last year. They aren't the original Missourians. <clears throat> but um, St. Paul was very happy. He loved these people a lot. And some of it was very personal. 
not just his great mind and his theology, but we know that he had some kind of very severe health problems. We don't know for sure what they were, but it seems that these people took care of him. So, of course, that's the kind of people you form a real inner bond with. But as a church, they were kind of different because these, this whole community evidently was pagan when he met them and taught them about the one true God who had revealed himself to his chosen people through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and who after a thousand years or two thousand years of preparation had taken flesh among the chosen people for our salvation. But they were pagans, and I like to compare it to this, which he, he liked that, I'll tell you why. When uh, in my first parish, my parishioners decided I should play golf because all priests should play golf. So they got me some clubs and paid for some lessons. And my teacher, who was amazing, he was an old man, and he'd hit that ball like a rifle, always straight down the course. And I, that's when I realized it's all up here. It's not in your muscles, you know. And so I tried, if I'd stayed with him, I'd probably be a great golfer. I didn't stay with him very long. But he was happy when he met me. He said, have you ever touched a golf club before? And I said, no. And he said, great. He said, I don't have to break any bad habits. And that's the way St. Paul was with these pagans. He didn't have to undo all of their misconceptions about what it means to be saved by Jesus Christ from our sins. They didn't have their own giant world in which they believed that they knew how to save themselves. When they heard that they were freed from these pagan gods whom they were terrified of, you know, pagan, the Greek gods are presented very beautifully in art and literature, but go read for yourself. They were vicious, sadistic, capricious, unpredictable, worse than animals. And the people were terrified of them. And that's why they did everything they could to placate them. And when they found out that this one God had power over everything and made everything and made you in his image and likeness and took on flesh and died for your sins, they, were, they accepted that with open arms. But after St. Paul left, some other religious teachers came in and said, you know, you're not really saved. You have to do this and this and this and this and this. There's all these rituals for washing and you have to recite this in the morning and this at noon and this in the evening. And you have to mutilate your body too, which is, they called circumcision. You have to, you're not saved until you do all these things. And these were simple people. They were not equipped to argue with the, these experts in the scriptures. And when St. Paul heard that they were accepting this, which he calls a different good news, he was very upset. And he says some rather strong things in this epistle. It's a short, powerful, it has a big punch in it. He says, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? He calls them fools. <laughs> Another passage, which I don't know if I should quote in church, but when he talks about circumcision, he says, I wish they'd go ahead and cut the whole thing off. Pretty strong language. So he's very carried away. He's so upset that they are, they are teaching something other than what he taught. And it comes down to just one simple, simple question. Who saves you? And if you're going to save yourself, why did Jesus die on the cross? That's what St. Paul puts to them. What was the point of Jesus dying on the cross if you have to save yourself? You're making a joke out of his passion and his death and his sacrifice. So that's why he was so upset. He himself was the happiest man in the Mediterranean when he found out he didn't have to save himself. When Jesus grabbed hold of him and said, Paul, I died for your sins, he had the biggest relief you can imagine. After years and years of thinking 24 hours a day, he had to save himself. And when he made a little mistake, he had to fix it right away. He had whole sets of rituals and cleansing and washings and things to make up for every little mistake. 
when he found out that Jesus had already taken care of all that for him, he was the most relieved man on the face of the earth. And that's why he was so upset. In this last passage, he also comes out and says, you know, there's some people that think they have more authority than I do. Let me show you the marks on my body, he says, because he had so many scars from preaching the gospel in difficult times, in riots, imprisonment, being whipped as a criminal in public, and all these things that had happened to him. He says, don't, don't, if anybody wants to challenge me, let me show them my scars. He uses an interesting word. He says stigmata in Greek, which in modern Christianity we have come to associate with St. Francis. But that word didn't mean that before St. Francis. It was a word in Greek that meant a mark on your body that showed you belonged to somebody as their property. You were a slave that had been purchased. And so <clears throat> it's often translated a brand mark. You know how we brand cattle? But uh, the origin of the word before that in Greek was a tattoo. So whatever kind of mark was used to mark somebody as someone else's property, he says, I'm marked because I'm the property of Jesus Christ. So he comes out as his most passionate here. And what do we hear about Jesus today? We're still pretty early in his life, actually, his public life, St. Matthew's Gospel. St. Matthew begins his gospel, his public life, very dramatically, like one of those, <laughs> the older people appreciate it, maybe the younger people don't, but it used to be if you went to one of those really big movies, they, they had this curtain that seemed to stretch forever across the screen, and when that curtain opened and you saw this movie on the screen this big with mountains and armies and things like that. And that's how St. Matthew's Gospel begins, where Jesus moves to Galilee to fulfill the prophecies of Isaiah. And immediately he begins curing people. And he teaches them too, but knowing, you know what we're like, <laughs> they probably only heard this much of what he taught, but they wanted to see miracles. And it says he cured people of everything, sickness, intractable pain, the possessed, the lunatics, and the paralyzed. Five different kinds of ailments St. Matthew describes. And then he describes increasingly spectacular miracles. He cleanses a leper. He cleanses the servant. He cures the servant of the Roman soldier from the other side of the city. And then he, uh, he cures Peter's mother-in-law, kind of a variety of people. Some are the chosen people or some are pagans. And then he works miracles over the weather. And then he crosses the lake and he dips his toe into pagan territory. How do we know this is pagan territory? St. Matthew doesn't say anybody's a pagan there, but they, they have pigs. We know this isn't a Jewish village. They have, they're keeping pigs there. So he, uh, he crosses the lake and dips his toe into really the kingdom of evil here, the pagan territory. The Jews have been prepared for a thousand years or two thousand years for the reception of the Messiah. They've been living the law, do not kill people, do not commit adultery, do not fornicate, do not steal, do not tell lies, and so on. This other place over here, every, they would laugh at all those laws, you know? Why shouldn't you do those things? If it's to your advantage, you should do those things. So, um, <coughs> so he's sort of walking over here into the kingdom of evil, and immediately this man comes seeking him, really. You know, this man comes running out to see Jesus, who is possessed by a whole army of demons. And we know this because... It says Jesus asks his name, meaning he asks the demon his name. And the reply is, my name is Legion. In St. Mark's Gospel, he says, my name is Legion, for we are many. St. Matthew just explains, he says, my name is Legion. St. Matthew says, because he had so many demons inside of him. Legion means an army to the ancient Romans. So he's possessed by all these demons at once. And it says, 
uh, you know, the other people in the town try to help him, just like we do, you know. We call for a health check from the sheriff's department and they take you off to the mental hospital, put you in a straight jacket. They, they put him in chains and he would break the chains and he refused to wear any clothes. And he lived in the cemetery. So every kind of symbol of sin is here because the kingdom of sin is the kingdom of death. And that's why he lived in the cemetery of all places. And he would shriek, and people were afraid to come near him because he was so violent. And he probably was scary looking. It says he beat himself with rocks, so he probably had, you know, sores on his body. And he comes running out to see Jesus. So um, the man, not the demons, but the man is still looking for help and salvation. And as Jesus is ordering the demons to get out of the man, they say to him, we know who you are, son of the most high God. What are you doing here? Are you here to torture us before our time? <clears throat> well, he doesn't, of course, um, have a dialogue with them. He keeps giving them orders. So they ask a favor, strangely enough, I suppose, to us. They say, let us go into, instead of going back to hell, let us go into that herd of pigs over there. So he gives them permission to save this man, and they go into the herd of pigs, which immediately commit suicide. <clears throat> and um, there's a very interesting point there, I think, if you want to think deeply about it. How is it that this man could live for years with an army of demons in him and the pigs, a whole herd of pigs, committed suicide right away? I think it's a very profound thing because the difference between you and a pig is you're made in the image and likeness of God and pigs aren't. And neither are demons. You know, Satan himself is not made in the image and likeness of God. So if you rank all the creatures, everything God created, all the angels, the greatest of angels, are not as high as you are because you're made in the image and likeness of God. You have free will. You can turn yourself into something more evil than an angel. But... Your original creation, you're higher than all the angels because you're made in the image and likeness of God. And that's why not even a whole army of demons could destroy this man against his will. <clears throat> but the pigs didn't stand a chance. And then we hear the, the interesting end to the story, which is uh, the shepherds run off and tell the village, you know that crazy man? He's... You, you can't believe what happened, and all our pigs are dead. And they come out to see. It says the, the possessed man, he's wearing clothes. doesn't tell us where he got them from. But anyway, he's wearing clothes, and he's sitting down, and he's in his right mind listening to Jesus. And they were terrified. <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever seen that in the, in the world. Uh, I remember... Uh, many years ago, my father used to talk about a book called Games People Play, which I eventually read, and he said it was the most brilliant book he'd ever read, and one of the things in it which was new to me was he talked about alcoholism, and he said the last thing uh, the wife of an alcoholic wants is for her husband to get sober. Well, that's, that's pretty hard to believe, but my father said he'd seen that. One of his friends who was an alcoholic got sober, so his wife left him. And then, that was new back then. I mean, you can go read books about it. It's called codependency. But uh, as long as he's a drunk, she has power. It, she, she acts like it's a terrible thing, cleaning up after somebody, protecting somebody, and on and on and on. But she actually has power. And I have read of cases of, it's not always women who are codependent, but somebody might, might actually marry five alcoholics in a row each time saying, I, I believed he was a teetotaler when I married him. Some kind of interesting psychological thing you can read about for yourself. But nevertheless, you would think the most wonderful thing you'd ever see is to see somebody delivered from evil, and yet, because of our own sins, somehow we see someone delivered from evil and we're scared or maybe angry. 
or full of hate. We're pretty complicated inside, you know that? So uh, that's kind of what I think of when it says the villagers, when they saw this man cured, they were terrified and they asked Jesus to leave the neighborhood. So he does, except the man says, let me come with you. And Jesus says, no, you need to go tell everybody what happened to you. I have one more story for you here about, uh, about demons and sin, just to give you something to think about in your own life. Many years ago, I happened to know a man who was um, <clears throat> actually a very famous Christian leader. I have to be careful not to identify him. But he told me some personal things. We were both young. And uh, in the 1970s, which was a pretty crazy time where all of our society was encouraging immorality, you kind of had to live through it to experience it for yourself. The idea that you shouldn't indulge in immorality constantly made you a real pariah in the 70s. But he went to one of the big universities where everybody was at, you know, doing crazy things, and he himself got addicted to all kinds of vices like fornication. And, uh, but he was a devout Christian, not Catholic, but from a very, one of the least organized branches of Christianity. And he said he couldn't quit. So finally he went to his pastor. He said, Pastor, I think I'm possessed. No matter what I do, I cannot stop these sins. And his pastor said to him, well, let's look into it. And according to their tradition, he was invited back to the church, and he, there was a chair, and he sat down in a chair, and all the elders of the church sat in a circle around him, and nobody said anything, and they all prayed silently. And then he left. And then the pastor had him back in for a meeting, and the pastor said nobody felt anything diabolical. He said, young man, I have some difficult news for you. He says, I wish you were possessed, and we could say a prayer over you and fix you. But you're not. He says, what you have to face is that you have pampered your flesh so much that this is who you are now. And it's going to be a long, difficult struggle for you to discipline yourself again. So I thought that was a very interesting story. And he did, actually. It took him many, many years of cutting himself off from many things to start to be able to live a life according to Christian morality. He was very popular, so he had constant temptations. Uh, but uh, the, the minister said it would be easy if we could just throw a demon out of you, but it's not that easy. You've made yourself into this person by your actions, and now you have to work hard to get back out of it again. So uh, it's true Jesus died for his sins, but uh, that doesn't mean Jesus makes everything easy for us all the time. We still have to do our part. Glory to Jesus Christ. Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for our God-loving Bishop Neil. For those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. departed servants, Anna, John, Maria, Joseph, and Olha, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our God-loving bishops, Neil and Kurt, always, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our holy ecumenical pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend metropolitan Archbishop William, the God-loving Bishop Neal, all the priestly, diaconal, and monastic order, our President and Commander-in-Chief, our government and all the armed forces, the noble and ever-to-be-remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church, and all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. And forever. Here offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Make us worthy to find favor in your sight, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest on us, on these gifts here present, and on all your people. Grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let 
let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord, yes, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ yes, Son of God, the yes, only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, through God, God from true God, 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 begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For our salvation, he came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and he became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day, will have no end, and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified, He spoke through the prophets, He won only the Catholic and Apostolic Church. of sins, I expect the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora in peace. Mercy, peace, and sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion and the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being and again raised us up when we had fallen and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit <coughs> for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the
We also cry out with these blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, and we pray to you, offer to you this spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, Amen. and that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. that for those Amen. who partake of them they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. <clears throat> Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in the faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, you O Theotokos, the ever-blessed Immaculate, and the Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Lord, O Lord, we magnify. Among the first, O Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, and our God-loving Bishop Neil, and preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your evil. Remember, O Lord, this city in which we dwell, and every city and community and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor, and upon all of us send down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Now that we have commemorated all the
the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves mankind may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. And this, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. And this, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. And this, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. And that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. For a Christian painless, unashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Asking for unity in faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you the God of heaven, Father, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven. the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. invisible king for by your immeasurable power you have fashioned all things and in the greatness of your mercy you brought all things out of non-existence into being look down from heaven O master upon those who bow their heads to you for they do not bow to flesh and blood but to you the awesome God therefore O master make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead according to the need of each sail with those who sail travel with those who travel cure those who are sick O physician of souls and bodies, through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Oh God, be merciful. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts for holy people. I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came for, to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God. 
For I will not reveal your mystery to your men, nor will I give you a kiss as the Judas, but life will be my profession. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me for I have sinned without number. Qualite hos voda, hos voda sonebes, qualite hovo vishnu, qualite hovo vishnu, Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. I think the servant of God, Master, receives the precious, most holy as your body, Lord, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the servant of God's head, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Diane, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Grace, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Dolores, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Kian, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, 
my soul. Mary receives Christ, living God, the precious, now and most holy, most pure and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servants of God, Lorenzo, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Patrice, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Peter, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Frederick, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Ellen, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Linda, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of Dorothy, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Helen, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Susan, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Joshua, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Diane, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Jacob, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Mark, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Vanessa, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Lorraine, receives the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Michael, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Christopher, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Jacqueline, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Helena, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Peter, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Paul, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Kevin, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Patricia, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Patricia, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Patricia, Shchayetia, Rabbi, Boži Mihailo, Tilei Kurove, Hospoda Boha i Spasa, Našeo i Sosarista. The servant of God, Dennis, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Prišće Šćajici, Raba Boža Marija, Tilei Kurove, Hospoda Boha i Spasa, Našeo i Sosarista. The servant of God, Mary Ann, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Dorothy, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Lynn, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God Andrew, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Cynthia, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Michael, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Susan, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Peter, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Michael, receives the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Virginia, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Gregory, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Ryan, receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Hospoda <laughs> The servant of God.
for Anna Maria Israel. receives the precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Save your people, O God, <coughs> and bless your inheritance. For many years, years most, most reverend bishop, we, we have, have seen the true light. light. We, we have, have received, received the heavenly spirit. We, we have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may <coughs> sing of your glory. Sing in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> Arise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life creating and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. We thank you, O Master, benefactor of our souls, who love mankind, that this day you've made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints, make straight our path, confirm us all in fear of you, guard our life and safeguard our steps, for you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people, bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Have a seat, everybody, for just a moment. I hate to revisit sermons, but I did want to, I meant to tell you another story about possession with a different ending. <laughs> when I was living in Portland, Oregon, it was on the news one night that uh, up in Washington, there was a Pentecostal church where they ended the Sunday service and everybody was coming out and there was a drug house across the street and a man far gone on drugs came flying out of his house and started having seizures in the middle of the street and the whole Pentecostal congregation came and crowded around him and started praying like crazy. And uh, of course you never, and then they took him to the hospital. You never hear the rest of the story on the news. but. Years later, I met a man from that town. It was so small, nobody had last names there, you know. They only knew each other's first names. And it turned out it was in that town. And I asked him, whatever happened? It turned out he was cured. 
I was Pentecostals prayed on him like crazy, and he was cured of uh, drug addiction. So, uh, <clears throat> let's see. If you have any doubt about the fact that there are armies of demons, just turn on the news and see the horrific things happening all over the world. And um, so it's a, a great honor to have with us here this morning our bishop from Ujarod or Mukachevo Ujarod, depending on what you call it. It was originally Mukachevo. Everything moved to Ujarod, but we can't, we're so conservative in the Catholic Church, we keep both names. And he has two big cathedrals, by the way. And uh, he has a, uh, a difficult life now. Um, Zakarpacha, where he is, their population of 300,000, there's 600,000 refugees there. And uh, so he has to take care of all those people, his many, many priests and the priest's families and uh, monks and everybody. It's a full-time thing, taking care of all these refugees, trying to get them clothes when they show up and uh, food. And also Bishop, uh, I know he does uh, funerals constantly for young men who've been killed in the war. I don't know how, I couldn't do that for very long. He's been doing it for a, a year and a half now, uh, comforting these women who've lost, lost their sons or their husbands and the little children there who've lost their fathers. So uh, it's really a, such a, an honor to have Bishop Neal with us today. And uh, I'm glad he, he took time out to come here for a little over a month and travel around, visit a lot of our parishes here in the United States. So it's a great blessing to introduce him and have him with, with me here today, my brother, Bishop Neal. And I think he has a few words to say, and Father Jack is going to be his translator. Unfortunately, my Ukrainian's not up to the task, so Vladika will speak in the language of the church, which is Italian. <laughs> Prosho. <laughs> Sono molto lieto di, di essere qui uh, con voi. I'm very happy to be here with you. Uh, prima di tutto voglio, uh, voglio, voglio ringraziare Vescovo Kurt e voi tutti per l'aiuto che avete fatto per noi in questi giorni di guerra. First of all, I want to thank Bishop Kurt and all of you for the assistance you have given us in this time of war. Uh, so che voi tanto pregate per noi e per questo che noi, che noi ancora siamo vivi e possiamo lottare per la nostra libertà. I know that you pray for all of us and that's why we're still alive and able to fight for our freedom. E soprattutto uh, siamo molto grati, io, i nostri sacerdoti, il nostro popolo, siamo molto grati per le vostre preghiere and I, our priests and our people, are very grateful to you for your prayers and for your material support. Soprattutto il popolo americano hanno aperto il suo cuore per l'Ucraina. Especially the American people have opened up their hearts for the people of Ukraine. Purtroppo l'Ucraina è un paese molto, diciamo, povero. Non possiamo stare da soli. Unfortunately, Ukraine is a poor country. We can't stand alone. For example, in Zakarpatia, noi non abbiamo, non abbiamo industria, soltanto è un paese turistico. Especially in Podkarpatska, uh, we do not have heavy industry. It's mostly a tourist destination. E per questo che aiuto finanziario che ci avete da dato in, quest in, in questo tempo di guerra ci aiuta tantissimo. And therefore the, the financial assistance you've given us in this time of war has been of great help. E ho portato grandi saluti da noi, da sacerdoti, da popolo e, e siamo molto molto grati e preghiamo per voi. And so I bring you the warm greetings of our priests and our people and I'm very happy to be here with you. Situazione ancora è molto, è molto difficile, ma speriamo che con Dio, che con Dio noi, noi saremo liberi e, 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 come si dice, avremo la, la vittoria. And so, with the help of God, we hope to be free and to achieve victory. Grazie mille. Se ho certo, ho detto che è slovo po' ucraini, che non ti hanno detto che Duže, 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 duže,
Glory be to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and, Father, and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now, now and, and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, Lord, Lord have, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Most, most reverend, reverend Bishop, give the, the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, <clears throat> have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most holy mother, through the prayers of all the holy apostles, through the prayers of St. John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, through the prayers of St. Michael the Archangel, through the prayers of St. Cyril and Methodius, equal to the apostles and evangelizers <clears throat> of the Slavs, through the prayers of St. Anastasia the great martyr, through the prayers of Abraham the hermit, and through the prayers of Abraham, the Archimandrite and wonder worker, and through the prayers of all the saints, for he is gracious and he loves mankind. Welcome to come down to the lower hall to greet Bishop Neal and Bishop Kurt personally. As you see, Bishop speaks Italian as well as Polish and Polnashemu and Ukrainian, and, and I bet even a bit, a bit of English, I bet you. So please come on down. I would ask our ushers, John, Michael, Gregory, please be so kind as to help our guests get downstairs. If you need a little assistance, the elevator will take you down to the basement, walk along the corridor, and then there's a lift to get you down the three stairs to the lower hall. But please do stop by to welcome Bishop Neal and Bishop Kurt. And before we sing many years also, I want to ask Bishop to give all of you his apostolic blessing. I'm going to better see on him apostolic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hospodu pomolim sio. Hospodi pomiluj. Nechaj blagosloviti vas i zberihaj vid usoho zloho vaše rodine i vsih vas, vaših djetočok, tih što je hvori, Бог Отец, це могутній Бог Син і Бог Дух Святий, всегда нині і присно, і во віки віко. Lord God, let me Bishop Kurt grant, O Lord, many years. God grant him many years. God grant him many years. God Kačevsko i episkopo Kir Nilovi, podajš gospodi mir, zdravlje, dolodenstvije na mnohaja i blahaja ljeta. Mnohaja ljeta, blahaja ljeta, mnohaja blahaja ljeta. Oh. 